Hello and welcome to our at-home spa day in quarantine. Now today we have all of our products that are completely natural. I made them all this morning. I have a cut on my pinky to prove it. Um, we have our tea, our hot water. I will go through each product as we go through it and let's begin. Cheers. Cheers. So the first product we are going to go in with today is the cleanser, since this is a skincare routine. Um, I made this with non-fat Greek yogurt, actually 5% milk. I have it right here, because this is also my breakfast. Um, with that, we added some pomegranate for some antioxidant benefits, as well as honey for antibacterial. And we'll just go in. Actually, first, I'm gonna wet my face a little bit. Oh, should I wet my face too? Yes. This is so weird to do it, like, not at a sink. <laughs> Ooh, that mixed well. Oh, how cool. How much do I put on? Average amount. I don't really know what an average amount is, considering I don't typically do this. Oh, I smell that honey. Oh, I smell that yogurt. Mm -hmm. Just massage that in for a couple minutes. Working in circular motions. Just learn. following you. I know, you're <laughs> gonna learn how to properly do a facial now. Now this is not going to suds up at all since there are no like real surfactants in it. This is going to be a very hydrating and gentle cleanser. And it smells really good. It tastes good too. All right, next we are going in with an exfoliant that I made. Um, this is a combination of pineapple and papaya. <laughs> That's it. Super simple. Did you just blend it up in the blender? Or? I just crushed it. I, I used the juice from the thing when I was cutting it. Oh, that smells so good. Mm -hmm. It's very liquidy, so. We should use mirrors. We need a mirror. What's a mirror? Like a mirror? Like a mirror. Oh, I, <laughs> I thought it was some like weird technical term that you guys use. So we are going to let this sit on our face for about 10 minutes, let it really work into it, get that dead skin cells off, and we'll be right back and take that off. And next, now that we have taken off our exfoliant, can't think of words, we're going to go in with our mask. And this is a blend of avocado, aloe vera, honey. What, did I, what else did I add to it? Aloe vera, <laughs> honey, avocado, I think I threw in a cucumber too. A cucumber? Yep, I threw in some cucumber. Oh yeah, I definitely threw in a cucumber. <laughs> Can't mistake that smell. And we're just gonna apply this. It's creepy. All right, now we have a mask on and we are going to let this sit on for another 10 minutes. And we're just gonna, in that meantime, sit back and relax. Now that we've let this sit on our faces and we've had our moment to relax, we can take it off somehow. All right, now that that is done and taken off, we're going to go in with green tea. Just green tea. This is gonna be a toner that's gonna to help soothe and relax. It's got some good antioxidants. Oh yeah. I like to use a lot, and then I just like to tap it. In. 
So now we're going to go in with our serum moisturizer thing. I don't know what it is really, but it's moisturizing. That's what matters. So this is cucumber and raspberry. Raspberry has antioxidants and some UV protection for it. And then the cucumber is a humectant and is going to help nourish and moisturize the skin. I like to just go in and massage that product in. Now to lock all of that moisture in as a more occlusive barrier, we are going to go in with organic cold pressed hemp seed oil. This is going to maintain that barrier function. And provide some extra moisturization. And especially with an oil, a little goes a long way. And then I'm just gonna go in with my hands and work this in as well. Make sure that gets nice and absorbed. What I really like about this hemp seed oil is it doesn't feel oily. feels very light, especially normally I would only do an oil in the nighttime, but here we're doing it in the day. So it's nice that it's light. All right, we have reached the end of the routine. Um, how do you feel? Good. I feel hydrated. Yeah. This went a lot better than I was expecting. I was expecting a lot worse. Like I was expecting my face to feel like real dry and sticky, um, just cause I'm not too big on the whole natural thing. I am very much a person that believes in the combination of nature and science. I love my botanicals, but synthetic ingredients are perfect because they reduce the probability of allergies or any type of contact dermatitis, something of that sort. And with synthetic ingredients, you're really gonna get those delivery systems that are gonna get those benefits right where they need to. Uh, I trust with my whole heart, chemists in labs, researching, studying, testing these products, so we don't have to do this. This was very time consuming. What? Very time consuming. And now I have a lot of fruit that we get to eat, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> but a lot of prep work goes into this, and one thing that goes against the natural skincare is preservatives. A lot of people don't like preservatives. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with them. That's what's going to keep mold and bacteria from growing in your products. And with natural products, it's really hard to do that. So these products used as skincare would I would use it more than a week before replacing and redoing it all over again, which again is a time consuming process. But if that's what you want to do, you go right for it, honey. You do Absolutely. It, girl, yeah. Like props to you, because I don't have time for this. <laughs> but this was a fun thing. This is a cute little way to like just treat yourself during the day, during quarantine. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today. Um Cheers.